Oh, g'day guys. This is uh, Nick from um, DMOP Garage, and I'm just doing a uh, review on uh, this classic lift. It's a single post hoist. Um, the model is SML2500. Um, just run through this manual pretty quickly, and uh, just just to show you what you get. Obviously, that's the assembled um, hoist. And you can actually see it there already assembled. Um, goes over the specs and the various components. They come all packaged up pretty well. Uh, they do come on a metal crate. And there's a breakdown of all the bits and pieces that go uh, into putting this thing together. Uh, when you install this guy, um, you do, if you haven't got a forklift at your end, <laughs> you definitely need some way to get it off the trailer if you're picking it up yourself. I, I got a mate's trailer and ended up getting a engine crane uh, to remove it from the trailer. And this big long post, which is obviously the main big one there, I actually thought that was going to be a lot heavier than it was. And it was quite easy to, um, to move that around. I reckon both of the, the bottom mounting plate and this one they're both reasonably around the same weight uh, but what you'll end up doing is you know putting this plate um, obviously on the ground and this one you need three guys to lift it and you're just going to put this piece right against there and then you're just going to lift the pole up and then bolt it into position and then of course the next one will be putting the um, the, the main tray section out the front that's going to bolt on um, all in all quite an easy installation uh, I think the hardest thing for me was I think just mounting the motor actually up up on the top um, there is a bracket there and you've got to put the bolts in and everything um, just just difficult doing it by yourself it weighs a little bit and it's a little bit tricky but uh, yeah the manual is pretty good uh, it, it it runs through um, everything fairly well the only issue I had with the manual was just in the wiring and it purely was two wires um, and it just I just wasn't sure which one uh, this is actually the three phase uh, wiring diagram and then you've got the the single phase wiring diagram here and and obviously that's inside the control box but this one here which was the wire of the motor the M1 and M2 they don't tell you which one here is positive and negative. And, that, and I actually had switched them the wrong way and it didn't work. And then I switched them back and it did work. So that one needed to be fixed. And the only other one, which I don't think matters, was the hydraulic solenoid valve, which was four and zero. Oh, again, I wasn't sure what the polarity of these two were, but we ended up working it out. But apart from that, everything else in the manual is pretty self-explanatory. You know, a good breakdown of all the components there. Um, a great single post lift if this is what you're after. Uh, you know, I didn't want to go with a two post or a four post because I don't have the room here and I want to be able to move this thing out of the way if I want to put three or four cars in here. Um, my shed is nine meters by seven and a half meters, so I can actually fit four cars in here if I want to. Um, obviously, not at the moment. Um, but yeah, for, for me, this, this lift is perfect. I can, I can, when I'm not using it, I can, uh, you know, pump up the jack there and, and, um, move it to the corner if I don't want to use it. Anyway, we'll go through the, um, installation process, uh, of how to put it together and, um, hope you guys enjoy it. Cheers. Right. So that's the hydraulic line, um, hooked up to the, uh, brass bung that's down there. You end up having to take off that little red thread protector and then you need to use a 14 mil um, spanner just to tighten up that that joint down there. Uh, next job you've got to do uh, is take the, uh, the top off here, um, these little bolts here. And you want to take off this top plate because you've got to get a couple of bits and pieces um, hooked up inside here. It's just easier to have that off. So that'll be the next thing we do. 
Right, our next part you need to install is this bracket here. And this is for holding the motor uh, assembly later on. Um, two bolts here, and they'll be in the pack. There'll be just two, uh, two of those together. And it's gonna mount in those two holes here. One there, one there. So again, probably a good idea to, I'm putting it on now before I lift it up, because then we don't have to dick around on a ladder later on. So we'll um, get that mounted now and continue from there. Righto guys, so I've jumped ahead a little bit. Had a uh, couple of mates give me a hand to um, raise up the main post onto the base. And uh, we basically just laid it along here on the ground. And then uh, the three of us just lifted it straight up and then whacked in the bolts down the bottom there. You've got, a couple, you've got uh, 10 bolts all the way around. Line them all up. They do supply some shims just to make sure that you are getting this thing level. Um, and then the front main beam that comes into here, we um, attach that one as well. So that's kind of what she looks like at the moment. Uh, next thing, I just jumped up on the ladder and mounted the motor up the top there. And there's four bolts that just mount to that bracket that I put in earlier. And there's a couple of rubber washers. Bit of a difficult job to do it up on the ladder, but um, had, a, had a mate give me a hand just to hold it and while well, I got it all in place. Next thing now is just gonna uh, hook up the hydraulic line. Uh, which is right there and then we'll just start going from there putting a few more parts on it and we're getting there slowly continue okay so the uh, next part to install is the limiter switch and um, you just need a Phillips head screwdriver for that that obviously is just going to you can see there it runs on the inside mounts up the top just up there in those four little holes Mount it on the inside. What it does is obviously when the carriage goes all the way up, it'll hit that little wheel and it tells the lift not to go up any further. So we'll get that guy mounted up, jump up on the ladder, and yeah, happy days. Righto, so the uh, next part is the control box. So we're going to mount that up onto the uh, main post. This is just with a cover off. You can see there's the um, front of the control box. And you've got a couple of mounting holes down the bottom here. There's one there and one there. They supply you with two screws. And if you go back and have a look at the hoist here, you can see there's one, two. I reckon might have been better to have four on there, but I reckon two is enough. Um, so, yeah, we'll go and um, get this guy mounted up, up onto the pole. Righto, so you can see there, got the box mounted, one screw up there, one screw down there. And obviously we need to do some more wiring into the uh, into this bank here. So I'll leave the, I'll leave the cover hanging for now. And we'll continue on with the job. No worries.